Crytek just dropped a new teaser, reminding us once again that a Gator boss is on the way. But there's a problem. If the Gator boss is indeed the first of the new wild targets, then our precious noggins are at risk. With a roaming boss, and one that will occupy areas of water, there would be no real cover. And in addition, water slows your movement, making you easy pickings for notorious cane main Kyle Spitzer Bushwell. But I'm sure the devs have considered this possibility, and since a rainstorm appears to be being teased along with the Gator boss, allow me to submit to you a little theory. I'm no longer convinced that the rainstorm will simply be a wildcard map condition, but instead a form of soft cover centered around the gator boss, giving it a purpose outside of just being a cool atmospheric addition. I think we will see a cluster of storm clouds above the area occupied by the gator, and a downpour that blocks or limits visibility for both the attacking and defending teams. Enemy hunters won't be able to see into the storm from the outside, reducing the risk of the team fighting the boss getting absolutely destroyed. And if this little theory does turn out to be correct, then the thrill of a gator boss will pale in comparison to the simple joy of just being right about something that I made up off the top of my head. Another thought that came to mind was the possibility that the devs will use other creative weather elements in a similar manner for future wild targets. Perhaps a windstorm surrounding a giant mutated bat creature, or even something that's not environmental, like the concept of another realm that hunters would be pulled into, hidden from both onlookers and bullets. I'm specifically thinking of the witch from the earliest iterations of Hunt Showdown. Hunt Horrors of the Gilded Age. So the, the witch has actually pulled one of the characters into her nightmare realm? Ah. And they're the only one that can see her, but, like, this guy's the only one that can see her, but if they shoot her, everybody else sees her briefly ah, cool. in the normal world for a while. So he's kind of got to keep painting the target so the other guys can uh, continue to attack. All that being said, I am making some wild speculations here, as the rain scene in the trailers could very well be a cinematic choice. But it does seem like there have been quite a few hints lately, so... I don't know. What do you guys think? We getting rain? Fucking subscribe!